the fighting fuchsia and orange. Hailing all the way from Berkeley, California, where peace, love, and happiness is a thing of the past. This is not your grandma's roller derby. Ladies and gentlemen, viva the Berkeley resistance! Number 11, Beyond Control. In her seventh season with Bay Area, number 888, Brawlin' Angel. In her fourth season, number 405, Dirty Little Trick. Your captain this evening in her second season with Bay Area, number 45, Dolly Rocket. A fourth season skater, number 86, you, Gretchen Vomit. In her third season, number 43, Jambi. Also in her third season, number 76, Jet Eye Force. In her eighth season, number one par, La Chica Mala. Skating in her first season with Bay Area, number six, E23, Mad Science Fist. In her third season, number 14, Rufio. Also in her third season with Bay Area, number 19, it's Steely Jam. In her second season with Bay Area, number 1950, Studi Baker. Longtime veteran in her ninth season, number 50, Taxi Scab. And in her first season, number 91, Viley Coyote. Folks, your Berkeley resistance. Bench coaching for Berkeley tonight. Number six, Christy Yamagacha, joined by Psychotherapist. Introducing second, your home team. Hailing from Richmond, California. And folks, we are starting on the opposite side of the track tonight for your viewing pleasure. You're welcome very much. It looks like jamming tonight, starting off, that's gonna be Demanda Riot taking the star for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. And that's number 888, Brawl and Angel jamming for Berkeley. Jam starting and Demanda Rye trying to work away to the outside, but number 45, Dolly Rocket 
saying hello and putting her out. Rawl and Angel doing a good job of staying in the middle of that track, but still having a tough time with that Brick Richmond pack. Demanda Wright doing a great job recovering and coming out, taking lead jammer. Number one, Liza Machete picking up a quick track cut right there as Demanda Wright comes around, picking up a couple of points on that scoring pass and calling it off for two points for Richmond. First blood on the board with two travel team teammates jamming against each other. Always a fun sight to behold. And it looks like we're gonna repeat that with Hey 19 Steely Jan jamming for the resistance. And newest member, one of the newest members of the travel team, number five, Scrappy jamming for Richmond. Liza the is in the box with probably about 20 more seconds on this penalty kill as Richmond's working their way against Steely Jan. Trying to ensure that, uh, keep her in the box. And we have a forearm penalty or an elbow sending number five zero to the box. Lead jammer, Steely Jan. Scrappy doing her best and working her way out of the pack for her initial pass. Twinkle toes there. That'd be Steely Jan picking up all four points, dancing through on the inside line. It's always so important in these first couple of jams get the uh, butterflies out for the for the both blockers and jammers and getting a couple of hits in, realizing this is just roller derby done it before. Yes, we've played this before. We know this game well. It's a little different in front of an audience, but you know, same game. Jamming for Richmond. That's number 36, Skatlin. And I believe that is number one par La Chica Mala jamming for the Resistance. Two thousand one to stay saw to see picking up a multiplayer block, trying to hold back La Chica Mala. Meanwhile, back in the back, number thirty six, that's Scalin picking up a picking up a cut. Going to be spent thirty minutes in the death. That's a power jam and five points for La Chica Mala. Nice offense there by number forty five, Dolly Rocket, with a sweet clear for her jammer. Mala already right back around for her scoring pass. Dolly Rocket doing a great job disrupting as Mala picks up another five points on a Grand Slam. And choosing to hold the Richmond Jammer in the box, La Chica Mala calls off the jam, which will ensure a power start for the Berkeley Resistance. We've got 14 points on the board for the ladies in Fuchsia. Richmond yet to score since the first jam. They're gonna look to turn that around. That is number 888, the lone jammer on the track for the resistance. Looks like Richmond is countering with Liza Machete. Great job at number 22, Little Miss Masochus, putting Barrymont Punchhausen into that hit. Brawl and Angel having all hearts of time. That's Barrymont Punchhausen, number 2 3, yet again putting her out. Liza Machete working away. Brawl and Angel picking up lead jammer. She's gonna take that lead jammer status and run with it. Skatlin out of the penalty box, onto the track. Richmond doing a great job forming that wall in the back of the pack, trying to limit some points. Still, Brawl and Angel picking up two points on that jam, extending that Richmond, the Berkeley lead to 16 to two to Richmond. Jamming for Richmond, that is 0, 0, 0 Demand a Riot. And number 19, Steely Jam with the star once again for the resistance. So both teams have revealed their hand a little bit. They're gonna be running a three jammer line, at least initially. And we have seen several all-star blockers out here jamming tonight. Some good cross training, G-Money. Steely Jam picking up a quick lead jammer there for the resistance. Demanda having a little bit of a trouble there in the front, but she is out. Steely Jam, so nifty, picking up four points right there. You give her a little bit of space on that line and she is gonna take it right away from you. Yeah, if you're familiar with Steely Jam as a background in artistic skating and really kind of, when there's not a lot of blockers on the floor, takes advantage of that, twisting and twirling, you get to pick, pick up four points. 
We do have one blocker apiece in the penalty box for these teams. So we're going to have three on three. La Chica Mala jamming for the resistance. I believe that's number five, Scrappy. That is Scrappy jamming for Richmond. Working away through the front. Berkeley doing a great job recycling on Scrappy, but they have got to let her go there in the front. Lead jammer, Richmond Wrecking Bells. That's Bar Baron Von Punchmausen doing a great job working against La Chica Mala. Keeping her in so that Scrappy can pick up a lead jammer. And we have a multiplayer block being assessed to number 22 for Richmond, so there is a pack advantage now. La Chica Mala calling off the jam. 0-0 zero, zero here. Just kidding. She picked up three points. So at a disadvantage here, I can't see that jammer, but it might be number 925, Sterling Archer. For Richmond, yeah, that's Sterling Archer Jammer for Richmond right now. Very tall, very long, very strong skater. And number 14, Rufio jamming for the first time tonight for the resistance. Out of play called, and Sterling Archer picks up lead jammer for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. Great job by Sterling, working her way, working the lines. Again, so strong. takes home three points for her. So what you guys are going to see a lot of times within our league is that Bay Area in general is a huge and heavy defensive league. Nationally, we're known as one of the best defenses in the nation. You guys are seeing that spread across our home teams as well. A lot of nickel and diming in order to get points. So, you know, the score right now is 26 to 8. A little bit bigger than I think Ri uh, Richmond really wants because you are picking up only two and three points per jam. Got to get back into this game, stay on the floor, get Lee Jammer. Especially when, you know, a thing like a power jam only lasts 30 seconds now. Uh, you don't have the opportunity to rack up all those points that you did when you had a minute long power jam. So we're playing the game a little bit differently now. So after that timeout, Richmond's gonna be uh, fielding number five. That's Scrappy to jam for them. And whoever is jamming for Berkeley is hiding. That's Steely Jan. Really smart counter right now by Berkeley by fielding both Gretchen Vomit and Dolly Rocket, allowing Steely Jan to pick up Lee Jammer right there.
Scrabby with one to beat there in the front. She is out, but she is not lead jammer. That's number 19, Seely Jan. Calls off the jam seemingly just in time, picking up two points for her efforts. Just a reminder, stick around and meet your favorite skaters after each bout. Get autographs, get your photo taken. It's a really good time. One of the disadvantages for that, at least the benches, is they're not able to always see the benches. They're asking for one more of their Berkeley. Looking at Demanda Ride jamming for Richmond, said uh, we might need one more out here. I will say that as a bench coach, I sacrifice that for you fans. I hate <laughs> where we start these jams because it's really difficult to yell across the track to your pack, but we love you fans that much. That's how much we love you guys. You are more important. Looks like Demanda Rice working against one of her old and dearest friends, Taxi Scab. Trying to get out, but old dirty trick, little dirty trick. Works away. Clean up on turn one. Demanda Riot, lead jammer. Demanda Riot with just a lot of toughness, working her way through that pack. Assessing coming back in against that four wall. And as formidable a blocker as Demanda is on the all-star team, she is very dainty as a jammer. She's very <laughs> careful, very patient, and that is paying off for her right now with a grand slam for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. Great job by Lachika Mala, working her way out of the pack, never giving up. Two more points picked up there by Demanda. A big jam for the Wrecking Bells. Closing that gap a little bit more, 15 points on the board for the ladies in gold and blue. 28 for the Berkeley Resistance. Looks like uh, Richmond's going to be fielding Sterling Archer versus Brawlin' Angel, it looks like. Very difficult to see these jammers from this seat because they're ducking down, trying to get their leverage around them. After that jam start, just seeing Archer working on the outside, trying to step through, step over. Difficult to push her out, as you guys can see. Big hit by Dolly Rocket there on the inside. Recycling Sterling Archer to the back. Yeah, Dolly Rocket wearing the pivot right now. A whole lot of unfun there for Sterling. Gretchen Vomit getting into the excitement. On the other side, that is Brawlin' Angel picking up Lee Jammer. 30 seconds to Lee Jammer. That's a whole lot of hard work there. Rollins picking up three points there on that last pass, calling off the jam. Confectious, what's going on in your little corner of the world? Well, I'm just remembering what it was like when I first started roller derby. If you're wondering what it's like for you, come check out Reckless Rollers. We have a recreational league that meets on Saturdays from 1.30 to 3 and Sundays from 6 to 7.30. Get your info at Bay Area Derby Girls. Dot com. Also, I want you guys to go check out our, our nonprofit for the night. It's uh, the Link to Children. They have a spin the wheel for $5. You can win some awesome prizes and donate to charity. All around good time. Looks like Berkeley called a, an official review. If I understand correctly, if I saw what uh, Dolly Rocket and uh, Chrissy Yamagachi are going to be asking about, they're going to be asking probably for a cut call on that jammer last. It's like you're psychic, G-Money. I would have called it. Shout out to the family of Express Lane Jane, the private party here on our patio. It's always a good time on the patio. You too can reserve the patio for your private event. You just need to email events at bayareaderbygirls.com. 
If I recall, she's pretty good at jamming as well. Express Lane Jane? Yeah, you might see Can't her bad. in the next bout. You might. You keep your eyes open. Do you want to help out the bad girls you love? Learn a bit about what it takes to put on a bout and get in for free copy of volunteer. We love our bad hands. More info at bayareadervygirls.com slash volunteering. Hey, hey, Buzzkill, do you have something to tell us? I do. I'm going to make sure the teams know what's happening first. Though. Oh, okay. Okay, so what happened there? Pink asked for to review the lack of a call on their jammer. The um, call was not, the penalty cut was not assessed. So Pink loses their official review. Thank you, Buzzkill. Great job, Buzzkill. Looks like DM has already started their jamming for the Berkeley resistance. That's Steely Jan getting up close and personal with number five, Scrappy. Liza Machete comes down there and says hello. Well, in the, in the front of the pack, number 50, Texas Ab is going to be sitting for a multiplayer block. Number five, that is Scrappy with your lead jammer. We had two Berkeley skaters go to the box very quickly there. We have a three on two pack advantage, making it nice and easy for Scrappy to pick up four points. She's gonna call off the jam and we're gonna take that two on three pack advantage into this next jam. Three blockers went to the box, I think within about four seconds. It was very quick. They didn't even get to turn one. That's a whole lot of whistles. It's a whole lot of people hitting the floor is what that was. Two blockers on the floor. It looks like they're going to be feel, fielding number 86U, Gretchen Bauman, and number 45, Dolly Rocket. Two other more veteran blockers. They're going to be blocking as number 36, jamming for Richmond. That's Skateland. And that is number one, Parla Chikamala, coming around the outside. But we have a lead jammer for Richmond. She realizes she's lead jammered, looks to her bench very dutifully, and she will call off the jams. There we have a zero zero jam, G Money. I'm going to take a sip of my bubbly beverage. And you should too. Actually, very smart call off there by uh, Skatelyn. Berkeley still has uh, two blockers in the box right now, so she's still preserving you know, the advantage right now for her blockers and demand a riot jamming for them to get lead jammer. She is going to have to take on Viley Coyote, but an easy lead jammer there for Demanda Riot. A quick four points for Demanda Riot. She's going to call off the jam, keeping Berkeley at zero. So we have 23 points on the board for Richmond, 31 for Berkeley. And as you said, G Money, very defensive game, a very low scoring game. It's halfway through the first period of this game and neither team has gotten to 50. That's incredible. Well, if anybody else is getting against most of those blockers, you're not be scoring as many points as well. It's true, Bay Area, the number two league in the world. We have some skaters that are very good at the sport of roller derby. That jam has started. Rollin' Angel, number 888, jamming for Berkeley and picking up Lee Jammer. Working back in the pack, that's number five, Scrappy for Richmond against three blockers and three unfun blockers they might be. Nice flat wall there for Richmond is gonna try to hang on to <laughs> Brawlin' Angel, but she's gonna come up that outside quick as can be and take home all four points. You know, Richmond's eke their way back into this game, but you know, every time you get a four or five points on that board, really big right now. It's a big jam there by Brawlin' Angel. Richmond's gonna be coming back to the line. Gonna be jamming. This is like Sterling Archer there. We're guessing that that is number 19. Yep, that's Steely Jan with the star for the Resistance. Heavy dosage of Steely Jan right now. Experienced he jammer. Stopping. Yeah. Whole lot of stopping happening in that pack. 
Taxi scab once again to the box for Berkeley. Sterling Archer, big long jammer, working way back to the outside, knocking Jamby down. Steely Jan sneaking up the inside, picking up lead jammer for Berkeley. Great job by Sterling, keeping her patience, getting out of the out of the pack. Steely Jan working on her scoring pass, kind of noodling around. Amanda Jam and Inya picking up two points there on that jam. Yeah, Steely just thought, mm, if I get my hips around you, perhaps they will give me points. But it looks like AJ shoved her out of bounds before she could pick up AJ's point. If you guys are having a good time, make sure you come back August 23rd for the championship bout. We don't know who's playing yet. We're still figuring it out. We will know at the end of this evening, though. And you will know, too. If you're confused, we'll let you know. Taking a start for Richmond, that is 0, zero, zero the Mandarin. And number one par, La Chica Mala with the star for the resistance. Dolly Rocket doing what she does, knocking the Mandarin out, forcing a cut, and that is a power jam for La Chica Mala with lead jammer. Chikamala patiently pushing that Richmond pack forward, picking up a five in the sky for her efforts. Dolly Rocket earning her paycheck right now, playing offense all over that wall. It's number one par, Chikamala on her second scoring pass. On the back end of that pack, Amanda Wright back out on her initial pass. Number 381, Razor Girl, throwing her weight around there in the pack and being sent off for a multiplayer, I think. Two Richmond skaters headed to the box now. We're gonna have a four on two pack advantage for the resistance. Let's see what they do with this advantage, G-Money. Yeah, that was a really big jam, actually by uh, Dolly Rocket there. You did make the statement that you're pretty happy never have had to skate against her ever in your life. I never, I somehow avoided ever having to skate against Dolly Rocket, and I thank my lucky stars. It's not fun. I, at least that's what I can gather from watching. <laughs> <laughs> Jammy for Richmond, that's number five. Scrappy taking the hat for, I believe, the fourth or fifth time tonight, and picking up Lee Jammer. Very important Lee Jammer there for the Wrecking Bells. Brawl and Angel is also out of the pack. Scrappy with a smart call. And we had some serious carcass tossing there in turn three. A forearm assessed to someone. And there was two points picked up there. Somewhere. Well, it looks like Berkeley uh, basically is going to fill Gretchen Vomit and uh, Dolly Rocket every time they only have two blockers on the floor, which I think is a great idea. It's a great call. They're skating clean. They're skating smart. That's who you want on the floor. And uh, bench coach Christy Yamagata there feeling a little bit of my pain having to howl at her pack to get them to come back to her. Number 19, Steely Jan, lead jammer for the Berkeley Resistance. A great job by Skatlin playing a little O for for Sterling Archer, getting her out. Meanwhile, Steely Jan doing her patented backwards point picking up move. You gotta love that. I mean, that is just that's just class. That has class written all over it. Our Steely, just classy nails as well. Oh, I haven't I haven't seen her nails yet today. But yes, if she happens to be at the skater meet and greet after the bout. You should definitely ask Steely to check out her nails because I'm sure they're amazing. I also wish her a happy birthday. It was Steely's birthday on Friday. Happy birthday, Steely Jan. Jamming for Richmond. That is 0, zero, zero. Demand a ride. Picking up Lee Jammer very quickly. And number 14, Rufio struggling with that Richmond pack there. T-Rex putting on the brakes. And we have a grand slam being scored by Demanda Riot. I don't even think she slowed down for that scoring pass. Bar Baron Von Punchhausen picking up a multiplayer block. Damage is still done. 
Rubio still in the pack there. And a high block being assessed to Val Curry while I think Rufio was trying to crawl through her legs. A little bit awkward there, but that is a penalty. Samantha Riot picking up. I couldn't see the fingers there. A couple more points there, at least, for Richmond. 35 on the board for them. 51 for Berkeley. With about eight minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this first half, we do have an official timeout. They're gonna have a conversation about some things, and we're gonna have a conversation with you about some things. Hey, do you wanna help bad, the bad girls you love learn a bit about what it takes to put on a belt and get in for free? Become a volunteer. More info at bayareaderbygirls.com slash volunteering. We love our bad hands a lot. Give them an, a round of applause, you guys. They put down this track. They do all kinds of stuff for us. We love them. While you guys are applauding, who's here for Richmond? And how about Berkeley? But really, who's here for the Sheevil Dead? That's what I thought. Yeah, and let's here, real. who's here for Oakland? All right, Oakland. Oh yeah, Oakland. Oh yeah, those guys. They are, of course, our second bout of the night. We'll have a little bit of an intermission after this game, and uh, and then we'll have our second bout of the night. If you want to support your team colors, whichever of our four home teams you love, you can go get a T-shirt at the merch booth. We also have cups, hats, koozies, stickers, anything you want. If you want to win some merch, just buy a raffle ticket, hit the raffle booth. We're also raffling off an I'm So Fancy product full of beauty and derby products. We'll be raffling off another couch so you can watch the derby bout in VIP style. You can win a Sue Slick bag, purses, handbags. Also, a limited edition poster of Demanda Riot and Foreclosure by DE Designs. And Buzzkiller oh. is gonna let us know here what that review was about. Yeah, so that review, um, Richmond requested a high block call on uh, pink, and the call stands as a no call because there was not enough information to determine a penalty. Thank you so much, Buzzkiller. You can't call what you don't see. Officials can only call what they see. If a tree falls in the woods and an official is not around to see it, does it make a sound? Oh, no, it, it a sound. does not. It does not make a sound. That is a great job by Amanda Jam India. We have a low block being assessed to Razor Girl and a lead jammer being handed off to Brawlin' Angel, who has a quick scoring pass, five points, and she's gonna call off the jam. Jamming for Richmond, that's gonna be 925, Sterling Archer. And number 19, Steely Jan with the star for the resistance. Steely Jan's getting a lot of calls to jam tonight, obviously because she's been pretty darn successful. She has been incredibly successful. We don't have a stats package up here, so we can't tell you exactly how successful, but you can see it. You see it all happening. Sterling Archer doing a great job, not allowing them to work all them all the way to the edges. A track cut penalty sending Steely Jan to the box, making this a power jam for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. The Wrecking Bells have the right set of blockers out there right now. Nice outside clear there by Razor Girl. They're gonna pick Taxi Scab to hang on to. And we have a track cut being assessed to Archer now. So we're gonna have a little, you take my seat, I'll get up and take this jam. Steely Jan now on the track for the resistance. 
the archer's uh, advantage. She's very tall, very long, can be able to step over things. Looked like what happened there is that her long legs actually stepped out of bounds, and she ended up cutting that uh, jambi as the furthest most blocker. Meanwhile, we got Steely Jan coming around on a scoring pass. And number one and number 22 gonna try and hang on to her, but they can't stop Steely Jan. And she, she can't call off the jam. <laughs> she really wanted this jam to be over, but it looks like 20 more seconds as Archer joins the party again on a scoring pass. Man, she's a strong jammer. With a couple seconds left, let's see if Archer, Archer I think was able to pick up a couple more points. Picks up four on that pass, while Steely Jam picked up three on hers. So they're gonna trade off points a little bit, keeping the point differential just about the same. 64 for the resistance, 39 for the wrecking belt. Just over five minutes left in the first half of this bout. I'm, a, I'm itching to see the, the penalty board right now because a lot of people have been sitting down uh, over this first half, jamming, uh, with about five minutes left in this period, that's 0, 0, 0 demand a riot for Richmond. And that is number one par, La Chica Mala with the star for the resistance. And as G-Money said, we will check in on that penalty board at halftime and let you know exactly where each of these teams stand. Dolly Rocket all over demand a riot. That is 86 to Gretchen Vomit. Dolly is so strong to peel foot. Demanda noodles around and picks up lead jammer. Baron Von Punchhausen and AJ doing a bit of work there on La Chica Mala. Nice football uh, footwork by uh, Baron there to push her out, working with AJ and her partner, T-Rex. And a lovely drop there by Baron Von Punchhausen, hanging on to La Chica Mala there in the pack. A multiplayer block now sending Baron to the box. But her jammer is still out on the track. She was out on the track for a hot second until she got a track cut. And now she's going to go sit down. Gretchen Vama with a great job on Demanda right there, forcing the track cut. Demanda's going to be spending 30 seconds in the box. Tuika Mall is still on her initial pass. I'll tell you what, those are a bunch of blockers there you just don't want to be hanging out with too long. A very effective Richmond defense. I can't tell you how many times I've uttered that phrase in my life as an announcer, G-Money. <laughs> Baron Von Punchhausen doing a great job coming out of the box, bridging the pack there. La Chica Mala on her initial pass does make it through. And she is gonna pass that star to number 45, Jolly Rocket. Who is going to go to the box for a low block. An ill-fated star pass there to Dolly Rocket. It looks like she hit the deck and inadvertently an opposing skater tripped over her leg. But, you know, the officials cannot call intent in that case. So she was assessed a low block. Dolly Rocket also, as the captain, is going to be talking to the ref and then having to go spend her time in the box. I would want to clarify that call, too. You know, you want to know what just happened. Both teams are going to be fielding four blockers apiece. But one jammer on the floor, that is number five, Scrappy. Scrappy-doo. Scrappy, one of the newest travel team members, <laughs> going against one of the oldest team travel team members. That is Taxi Scab. Liza Machete doing a little bit of work there on her friend, Taxi Scab. And it took a little while, but Scrappy does pick up that lead jammer nod. Great job by Scrappy, just working through. And number 45, Dolly Rocket, choosing to play a little bit of jammer on jammer defense there before screaming through the middle of the pack. As we said before, Dolly is a really good skater. <laughs> I didn't see how many points were picked up there by Richmond. Three. Three. I see a thumb. Thank, Thank you, Chewy. Chewy. <laughs> I can think of nothing scarier than Dolly Rocket actually jamming and blocking at the same time. 
I, we just saw it. It was amazing. <laughs> Jamming for Richmond, that's going to be 925, Sterling Archer. Jamming against number 888, Brawlin' Angel for the Berkeley Resistance. Whistles are blowing. Looks like T-Rex is going to be going to the box. As well, well as Baron Von Punchhouse with a low block. Sterling Archer now finding herself against four blockers. It's Brawling Angel coming through. Picking up a quick five-point natural grand slam. There was about two inches on the outside, and Brawling did not even slow down. She said, this line is mine. I think they're on to her, though, G-Money. I'll tell you what, uh, whoever, uh, Dolly Rocket's gym membership or whoever her trainer is, she's going to have to pay him double. She's been in almost every single jam out there. Her and Gretchen Vomit just doing a lot of work out there, keeping Sterling Archer in. Sterling says, you know what, I'm done with this, and passes that star to uh, Amanda Jaminetti, who is wearing the pivot. A track cut being assessed to Brawlin' Angel. She's going to have a seat for 30 seconds and think about what she done. Meanwhile, AJ takes the star for Richmond. She's going to attempt to pick up some points. Beautiful clear there by Bar Baron von Punchhausen. Now, AJ is new to our league, been on our travel team for two years, as well as the Richmond Wrecking Bells. But she's been skating since Derby was invented. She has been playing roller derby a very long time. She's also been on skates most of her life. So a very talented skater, a very smart skater. She happens to be on our all-star strategy team. It's actually a great job by AJ there. Her skate went out of bounds. She came back in. She had an opportunity to either keep going or go back. Ensure she did not pick up that cut. Comes back around, is still on her scoring path. Richmond with four points on that final pass. Berkeley picking up two, a lot of hard fought points. Bringing that score to 75, Berkeley with 61, Richmond at your house. And now, we will start the second half. Both teams did a great job of keeping their players out of the box so they can start the half, four versus four, jamming for Richmond, that's Amanda Riot. And that pack is barely moving. But something's got to give. A multiplayer block being assessed to number 238, Baron von Punchhausen. A track cut sending Demanda Riot to the penalty box, making Steely Jan your lead jammer and the only jammer on the track. Looks like Demanda Riot accidentally stepped out there on the apex of that turn. Seven back in, picking up a cut. AJ with a big old quick hit to Steely Jan. They're putting her out of bounds. Steely Jan came back in. Perhaps she didn't cut. see AJ dropping. Perhaps she didn't. AJ is sneaky that way. Both teams keeping it interesting, sending jammers to the box in that first jam of the second half. Amanda Wright coming through. This is her initial pass. Amanda Ride on her scoring pass, saying hello to her very good friend, Dolly Rocket, number 45. Jambi in the front, number 44, getting in on the fun. No pack is called. Jambi wants to hang on. Oh, a back block sending Amanda Riot back to the penalty box. Jambi did hit the deck there when she and Amanda made contact, and a back block penalty assessed there. Can't argue with the refs. Or can you, G Money? As a coach, I've always argued with the refs because that's what I do. Five <laughs> points for Steely Jan and the resistance. And that's the jam. A bit of a whirlwind there with both jammers hitting the box. Demanda Riot going again. So we will have a power start for the ladies in fighting Fuchsia and Orange. That was one crazy uh, jam to start off the second half. What's just as crazy is Looks like AJ and Razor are both going to be just taking the second jam again. 
and Berkeley choosing the field number 888, Brawlin' Angel. That's 22, Little Miss Massacre is putting her body on Brawlin' Angel. Brawlin' Angel can't be stopped as she picks up lead jammer. It's those gold skates. It's like Thor's helmet. All of her power is derived from the gold skates. All of the points, five of them for Brawlin' Angel. Thor's helmet? That's the jam. 93 points for the resistance. They're widening that gap just a little bit. Richmond Wrecking Bell is sitting pretty at 65 points. We have a clear penalty box. This jam is gonna be five on five. Jamming for Richmond, that's gonna be number five, Scrappy. And that's number 14, Rufy O with the star for Berkeley. Absolutely love that name. It's a good one. Scrappy doing her best working against Dolly Rock and Gretchen Vomit. Partners in crime out there for Berkeley Resistance. Scrappy doing a great job staying in bounds, man. Scrappy is uh, one part strong, two parts uh, noodly. She works that way to the front. Power jam there for Scrappy. Yes. Rufio sent to the box for a track cut. Scalen was just a little too fast there with that drop. And we do have a lead jammer for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. That Berkeley pack just doing a great job making Scrappy earn every single inch she gets. Liza Machete up there playing on some of her patented offense. A forearm sending Liza Machete to the box. And Richmond choosing to play offense. Rupio taking advantage of that. Richmond didn't see her coming through. You see me coming through on her initial pass. That, however, was a scoring pass. Five points for Scrappy, two points for Rufio. The Chica Mala is going to take the star once more for Berkeley. I believe that's AJ who will be taking the star for the first time at the start of a jam for the Wrecking Bells. She did have a star pass to her earlier. Block being assessed to AJ, making this a power jam for La Chica Mala. She has got Baron Von Punchhausen and Cut You Left to Beat. She picks up lead jammer for the Berkeley Resistance. She zigs and she zags her way to a grand slam. Mala getting a little coaching from the sideline right there. Looks like they're going to be icing uh, AJ there in the box, forcing another power start right here. They're looking like they want her to, to take the hat again, regardless for this next jam. And that she will. Steely Jan with the star for Berkeley. playing a whole lot of offense there for Steely. Number 36, Scalen doing her best to try to hold Steely Jam back. Nonetheless, Steely Jam comes through with lead jammer. Dolly, Dolly Rocket Ro taking AJ to the inside, forcing her to come all the way back in behind her while Steely Jam picks up some points. It's pretty darn ridiculous how dangerous Dolly Rocket is. A track cut being assessed to Steely Jan. I don't think she she now realizes it. And she's gonna get an additional 30 seconds for insubordination. You can't skate on the track on the way to the box. You have to skate out of bounds on your way to the box. So Steely's gonna sit for a full minute 
And we have got AJ back on the track, picking up points. A grand slam for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. They really need these points right now, G-Money. Yeah, this is a really opportune time right now for Richmond to pick up some points. Has the jammer in the box for one minute. I will tell you one thing, though. That Berkeley pack will not make it easy for AJ to pick up any points. Looks like with AJ not being Lee Jammer, Steely will probably be getting back back out onto the floor before this jam ends. Possibly just before. <laughs> I, I have never seen that in my life. That was amazing. Skatelyn, number 36, realizing AJ was about to go out of bounds, just held on to her for a little bit longer and pulled her back in bounds. That is an assist, and that is a drop. A track cut forced by number 45, Dolly Rocket, sending what might be a little bit tired, AJ, to the penalty box for Richmond. Five points picked up by Steely Jan, and we are gonna have a power jam yet again for the resistance. Unbelievable, Steely Jan really making her presence known. So many different passes in this game right now. If, if we had like a, a Moxie's play of the game, I would replay that moment right there between Skatelyn and AJ where she pulled her back onto the track because that was, that was the highlight of my night so far. My play of the game would be everything Dolly Rocket's doing right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, Dolly Rocket, she's good, she's good. Dolly Rocket's good. Number 888, Brawlin Angel, the only person on the track with a star, picking up lead jammer for the resistance. Brawlin Angel also doing a lot of heavy lifting out there for her team tonight. Speaking of some heavy lifting, Brawlin Angel coming back around for another five point Grand Slam. Getting a little help there from number 50, Taxi Scab. Brawl and Angel not allowing those players to be able to set their feet to build a initiate a block. Looks like they feel the demand to riot as they pivot so they can pass the star. Demandro does have the star right now. Good eyes there for Berkeley to see that star pass and shut it down. That's a dirty little trick in Mad Science Fist. Really getting into the mix there with Demanda Wright, not allowing her to get that push that she's looking for with support from Taxi Stab. Demanda Wright getting out on her initial pass. Meanwhile, the Richmond Pack forcing Brawlin' Angel to call off the jam. I believe she did pick up all five points there before she called it. We have 120 points on the board for the resistance, 80 points for your Richmond Wrecking Bells. And just about, is that 18, 19 minutes to play? Your eyes are all better than mine, I'm sure. Quick check on that penalty box. Getting filled up right now for both teams. Jam for Richmond, that's number five, Scrappy. And LaChica Mala going to work against Baron Von Punchhausen, Skatelyn, and Razor Girl. Scrappy is out front. She'll pick up Lee Jammer for the Wrecking Bells. Really critical Lee Jammer there for Richmond. Track cut being assessed to Dolly Rocket. So she's not gonna be able to play the next jam or the jam after that or the jam after that or the jam after that. She's gonna have to take a break for a second. That's old school style, that's rest in the box. Yeah, that's the only... Oh, I lied. Perhaps they took it back. Maybe she thought she was being sent to the box, or maybe the call was overturned. We'll never know. At any rate, we have four blockers on the floor for the Berkeley Resistance, three for the Wrecking Bells, and both jammers on the floor. Jamming for Richmond, that's 9 to 5. Uh, Sterling Archer. And Looks that's like number 91, Viley Coyote jamming for the second time this evening for the resistance. Trying to fight off T-Rex and AJ there in the front. They're not making it easy for her. Taxi's 
Gap pulling that track cut on Archer, making this a power jam for Viley. AJ gets all the way out to that 20 feet, has to let her go, and we have a lead jammer for the Berkeley Resistance. And just bulldozing that pack is Taxi Scab. But undeterred, Richmond is going to continue to play defense. Chrissy Yamagashi from the bench, passionately uh, yelling to call that jam off, icing Sterling Archer there. And that is no points on that pass. Although it was a power jam, there were no points scored there for Berkeley. So they're going to take their chances uh, with fielding Steely Jan and try this one more time. We do have a pack advantage four on two here for Richmond. Nina Beretta doing her jo job, getting her body on Steely Jan. Managed jamming in there in the second jam in a row. We are seeing these teams utilizing their all-stars a lot tonight, G-Money, heavily. Those are uh, Team Gold and all-star members, Gretchen Baum at Jambi and Dolly Rocket for Berkeley. Nina Beretta's gonna be spending 30 seconds in the box right there as Sterling Archer gets out of her initial pass. Steely Jan, lead jammer for the resistance with a lovely apex jump. She's gonna call off the jam. Was it in time? It was in time. So we have all four points there for Berkeley. We have a timeout for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. Please do stick around. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna stick around to see the Oakland Sheeble game, but if you'd like to meet some of your favorite skaters from Berkeley and Richmond, please join them for the meet and greet just behind the first set of bleachers there. You can get your photo taken with them. You can get an autograph. You can shake their hand, you know, check out Steely's fingernails and, you know, get up close and personal to what a roller girl smells like after about. Richmond Fielding, number 000, Demanda Riot. And that is number 888, Brawlin' Angel with two left to beat. Lead jammer by a hair, Brawlin' Angel. That's gonna be fun, a little jammer on jammer action. And the jam is called. No points, no points for nobody. Means we drink. I, of course, have a bubble water because I will be coaching this next bout, and I like to have my wits about me when doing so. I'm drinking beer because I'm not coaching that the next bout. Jamming for Richmond, that's number five, Scrappy. And I see a La Chica Mala with that orange and pink hat for Berkeley. Scrappy working against Jambi, Dolly Rocket, and Gretchen Vomit for Berkeley. Four, three very tough blockers. Other side, three very tough blockers themselves. As AJ, Liza, and Scalin. Right now, Scrappy's winning that battle and picking up Lee Jammer. Beautiful clear there by Gretchen Vomit, leaving that inside line open for La Chica Mala to get out. And another beautiful clear by AJ to get some points for her jammer. Four points picked up there by Scrappy Doo. AJ doing a great job, about a half a lap ahead to help set that uh, scoring pass up, sealing those blockers off. That Scrappy can pick up four points. 
Closing that score down to 125. Berkeley, Richmond 88 with 13 and a half minutes left on the clock. Jamming for Richmond, that is Razor Girl. And I see Steely Jan jamming for Berkeley. And that lead is not entirely insurmountable. It is entirely possible for Richmond to come back. They have been known to come back from deficits greater than this. My goodness, Steely Jam. Twisting and turning, picking up lead jammer. Razor Girl working hard to get out of that pack. Skating out of bounds assessed to Taxi Scab. And it looks like Bianca Troll also being assessed a penalty. We're gonna have a diet pack here for Berkeley. One point picked up by Steely Jam before the jam was called. by the Berkeley resistance. With about 12 and a half minutes left in this game, really critical point. Berkeley does have a, I'm gonna be doing math here, 37, 34 point lead. Um, really critical right now to just kind of maintain the lead, manage the jams, important for them to get lead jammer right now. Absolutely, and as I said earlier, Richmond is a team that will fight and claw their way back from a deficit. They have been known to get several, I mean, I can't even count on one hand the number of last jam wins that Richmond team has been able to squeeze out over the past seven years. I think if you personally experience it's not over till it's over. It is definitely not over till it's over. They have some clutch skaters. I'm sure Chantilly Mace running the show over there on the bench, you know, she's always got her wits about her, whether she's on skates or not. So she is definitely, they are not out of this yet. for a pack advantage for Richmond. However, both jammers on the floor. Number 888, Brawlin Angel taking the star for Berkeley. And that's number triple zero, Demanda Riot, lead jammer for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. Looks like Dirty Little Trick picking up another penalty right there. She was in the queue already. So she's gonna be picking up and spending a little bit of time in the box. Meanwhile, Demanda Riot with a five point critical grand slam. And with Dolly Rocket, the only Berkeley skater on the track, there's not a whole lot she can do. Number 22, that is Little Miss Masochist. Great block to the outside of Brawl Angel. Forcing the hook. Amanda Riot on another scoring pass. Brawl and Angel pushing with all her might there, but Amanda Riot with a tiny little apex jump there for five big points. On cue, Richmond Wrecking Bells closing that score down to a 19 point lead. Amanda Ride on another scoring pass. Looks like Dolly Rocket got her, uh, er, er, earned her uh, business out there. Forcing the track out on Amanda Ride. Rollin Angel just getting continuously recycled to the back of this Richmond pack. They are vicious, G-Money. They are not going to let this game slip out of their hands. That was Berkeley's timeout, but Richmond doing a great job taking advantage of it right now. Passing the hat to Dolly Rocket. Rocket picking up some points there while Demanda Riot comes out of the box to pick up some of her own. With 10 minutes left in the bout, 
score is 131. The Berkeley resistance, 111. Richmond, nice even math for me. That's a 20 point lead. Even I can do that math. <laughs> Jamming for Richmond, that's number five, Scrappy. And number 19, Steely Jan for the Berkeley resistance. These next 10 minutes are going to be really interesting. A lot of veteran blockers skating, a lot of jams. It's going to be important to see how they get to uh, skate through the last 10 minutes here. Scrappy working at the front of the pack. One blocker to beat. Gets out on the other and lead jammer. Easy breezy four point pass there for Scrappy. She saw that outside line and she took it. Scrappy with a big old grin on her face, clearing the box out, picking up the points, doing her job and closing that lead down. 131 Berkeley, 115 Richmond. And speaking of clearing the box, we do have an empty penalty box. So we're gonna have five on five. I'll tell you what, every time I see her, I threaten her that she's gonna have to jam and it's really happening right now. That is nine millimeter Nina Beretta jamming for the Richmond Wrecking Bells. Number one par, La Chica Mala. Nina Beretta does not jam too often, but I'll tell you what, she's a very athletic jammer. A blocking with the head penalty is sending La Chica Mala to the box. Nina Beretta picking up lead jammer on a power jam. Looks like Nina Beretta made contact in an illegal hitting zone there, sending her to the box. You know, from my vantage point, that looked clean, but I am not a ref, so I am not allowed to make that call. We do have La Chica Mala back on the track. like Nina Beretta picking up an illegal entry. She's gonna have to enter into the very farthest back of the pack when coming out of the box. She did not do so. She's gonna pick up another 30 seconds in the box. And La Chica Mala is on a scoring pass here. Jammers back on the track. All five blockers. Four points for Nina Beretta. And any points for Berkeley. One point for Berkeley. With six and a half minutes left, that's an 18 point lead for Berkeley. Jamming for Richmond, that's zero, zero, zero. The man to riot. And number 19, a familiar face, Steely Jan, jamming for the resistance. have a lead jammer on the floor. That is number 000, Demanda Riot. Now on her scoring pass. And a direction of gameplay being assessed to number 238 there at the very end of the jam. It's gonna give us three on three to start this jam. We have five minutes and 40 seconds left. And how many points separating these two teams, G-Money? 
How many points are separating these two teams? Uh, seeing that that's math and I excel at that, that's 13 points. 13 points, yeah. <laughs> Whatever number I said was gonna be wrong. I promise you. Jam for Richmond, that's number five, Scrappy. Taking on Jammy, coming through with Lee Jammer. Brawl and Angel giving everything she can against AJ and Liza Machete. Getting out while Scrappy on a scoring pass. We're going to get Matt fist. Getting back to the outside. Picking up her points. Picking up four points for that. For Brawl and Geeky back into the pack. Brawl with zero points. I'm going to be doing some math again. That's nine. That's nine. Look, I did it. <laughs> I did the math. I can also see that we almost have a clear box. We will start this with a pack advantage for the Berkeley Resistance. Richmond, again, digging deep into their bench. That's going to be 3-8-1, Razor Girl, jamming. And that is number one par, La Chica Mala for the Berkeley Resistance. I like the call. You're going to put that, you need to dig deep into the bench. Ask one of your captains to do so. It looks like a little jammer on jammer defense there from Razor Girl. La Chica Mala is going to shrug that off and come right up to the front. Razor Girl not able to keep her feet, allowing those Berkeley blockers to realign. And a forearm call there being assessed to Baron von Punchhausen. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have a lead jammer for Razor Girl and the Richmond Wrecking Bells. Direction of gameplay being assessed there on number five. 12, I think. So we are going to have a little bit of a short pack here for Richmond. Both Liza Machete and Valkyrie are going to be in the box. Two blockers on the floor for Richmond versus four for Berkeley. They're opting to go to uh, AJ and Little Miss Mascus jamming for Richmond. That is 0 0 0 demand to Ryan. And hey, 19, Steely Jan looking to make that point spread just a little bit bigger for the Berkeley resistance. Lee Jammer, so critical right now. Demander Wright working to the front, picking up Lee Jammer. Demander Wright on a scoring pass, coming through. I think we would have two and two there. We're two and three. Two and three. I missed the thumb again. I'm sorry. You know how Major League Baseball umpires wear tape on their fingers, neon tape, so that the pitchers can see them? I feel like our officials should, like, paint their fingernails neon or wear some tape on their fingers because some of us announcers, our eyes ain't so good anymore. We have a timeout being called by the Berkeley Resistance. Berkeley with a seven point lead and two minutes and 11 seconds left in this bout. Call a timeout. They're going to be fielding some of their veteran skaters who've been in a lot of jams this half. And I think probably thinking like, hey, let's get these guys a break, get them fresh, get them ready to, to play two more minutes of, of this game. It is a seven point game, and it's like we predicted the future, G Money. Again, Richmond not giving up the fight. I don't know what the biggest point def deficit has been for them in this game, but it was, pretty, it was pretty significant there. And they have overcome. They will keep attempting to do so, at least for the next two minutes and 11 seconds. So we made it clear that both of us don't have great eyes, but it looks like both teams still have timeouts on the to be able to use. So if this jam does not go two minutes, actually I correct, there will be another jam. Brawl and Angel working to the front, number five, Scrappy. We're gonna get our new best friend. That is Dolly Rocket. Gretchen Bomb joining the party there.
continuous recycling by the Richmond Pack. And a track cut by Scrappy. Unfortunately timed track cut. But a big hit from Skatelin there is gonna send Brawl and Angel to the outside on the scoring pass. Again, that Richmond defense doing an incredible job of attempting to hang on to Brawl and Angel. They know she's scoring points, but they don't want her to pick up any more than this. She will pick up three for her efforts. Four, four points. 144 for the resistance, 133 for the Wrecking Bells, 11 point game with just under one minute on the game clock. And I believe we have an official review being called here by Richmond. So in case you were wondering, an official review is when one team sees a call that they don't like or a call that maybe they thought should have happened during the previous jam and they go out and they have a conversation with the head ref and say, hey, this was the call that we thought should have been made or we don't think this call should have been made and here's why. And then the officials will go have their own little huddle and discuss that. And then they'll bring it back to the team captains and say yay or nay. Uh, and each team does get one official review per period. If your official review is agreed with, in that if you challenge a call and that call is overturned, you get to keep that official review. If it is not agreed with, you don't get to keep your official review. Um, so Richmond challenged a lack of a directional hit call on their jammer by a pink skater the lack of call stood so no call all right the lack of a call will stand and we are back we have one minute on the clock jam starting with number zero 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 demanda riot working away on the outside both teams fielding some of their biggest baddest blockers Dolly Rocket doing what she does, taking Demanda Riot all the way to the back. Meanwhile, Steely Jan doing what she does, lead jammer for the Berkeley Resistance. Very critical lead jammer by Steely Jan right now. Points being picked up here by both teams. Steely Jan coming around for another scoring pass. Steely Jan calling off that jam. Richmond picking up a few more points there. On that last scoring pass, we have an unofficial final of 148 to 141. The officials will confer. They're gonna dot their I's and cross their T's, and they will let us know in a few moments what the outcome of this game will be. And once again, folks, if you would like to high five some of your favorite skaters, please meet them in the meet and greet booth just behind the first set of bleachers immediately after the game. They will be sweaty, but they will be smiling. She came up to me and she said,
that is the final, folks. 149, Berkeley. 141, Richmond Wrecking Balls. Let's hear it for your Berkeley Resistance. How money changes situation. Miscommunication leads to complication. My emancipation don't put your equation. I was on the humble you on every station. We are going to have a 30-minute intermission. Go ahead, go to the restroom. Grab some food, grab some drinks. You will be entertained by the, the phone sex operators. I right, listen to these guys warm up before. You guys are gonna love this. What a great tradition to come out and slap all the players' hands. But as we wrap that game up, go ahead and find your seats there as the next two teams take the track to warm up. Those are your Oakland Outlaws and your San Francisco Sheevil Dead. Again, if you're not a skater or an official, please go ahead and find your seats so our skaters can warm up again.